Paulina Vey still wears a locket with her son Aaron's photo in it three years after the 25-year-old engineer died in a tragic car crash. He was everything to me. I have nothing left. She and her husband Boris cling to their memories and this elaborate headstone erected in Aaron's honor at the historic Seamanville Cemetery in Monroe. It includes lifelike sculptures, flowers and urns, even solar-powered lights, a rock garden and a bench where they sit and mourn. Every holiday I buy pizza because he loved pizza. I come here with my husband, we eat here. This, this is my family. The cemetery is owned by the First Presbyterian Church of Monroe, which has filed a lawsuit seeking to have the gravestone torn down and force the Vays to pay for it. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Boris Vays is also an engineer and says they spent nearly $120,000 on three plots and the hand-carved headstone, even revising the size to get the church's pre-approval of the design. I went to the funeral director who sold us the land and who promised us that at this cemetery you will have no problem with the monument. Now we're saying that we will tear it down because it's oversized by six inches. No one from the church would go on camera to answer our questions about all this, but one official here disputed the Vay's claim that the church board actually approved the size of the gravestone in advance. The cemetery guidelines clearly state no monument can exceed four feet in height. Aaron's is four feet six inches. But the Vay's filed a counterclaim to block any threatened demolition. I can't even grieve here. I'm afraid that they're going to come and take monument down. But to take monument down, they have to take me down first. And she says she'll even sleep on her son's grave to make sure it stays put. In Monroe, Orange County, Brian County Bear, CBS 2 News. The lawsuits are being heard in state Supreme Court. A decision on the fate of the gravestone could come by the end of next month.